Hey everybody, this is SonicSB123606 and welcome to my very first video review for some action figures. My first ones will be from Bendy and the Ink Machine and right now we have both the Ink Bendy and the Alice Angel figures. Well, I save for starters Let's start off with the ink demon himself, Bendy. Look at the boxing. Um, looks pretty nice, to be honest with you. Very spooky and Disney-ish, as some people would say. Markiplier and Jacksepticeye, I'm looking at you too. They've also got a little cogwheel in there. That's pretty nice, as well as a wrench must be props that they use time and time again alright so you flip over the back and you see there's the ink machine over there um, and then a few more ink characters including the Alice Angel not exactly as detailed as the one that you have in the package that I purchased I should say but they still kept the same molding so that's pretty good. All right, so, well, I say, let's open them up. So, I'm going to pause real quick. So, here is the Ink Bendy figure. When you stick him outside of the package, and I gotta say, this is pretty cool. Rather small, but I'd say, well, for comparison, I'll just put him uh, alongside my Sonic the Hedgehog Funko Pop figure. And I would say they are relatively about the same height. The bendy head towers slightly over him. So, there's that for you. Um, for detail-wise, I'd say he is very fantastic you see all the black around him he's got a very asymmetrical head that's pretty interesting um, ink is pretty much all over him if you look around the back he is still pretty creepy you see that little bow tie on him that's pretty cool um, his hands, um, in the video game they show him with one hand being significantly smaller than the other. Um, it's kind of a little bit off, but gotta say, with this figure it's not too bad. So, articulation-wise, you've got some... No articulation in the head. Um, you've got a swivel joint, I think, on the arms. Also, a little bit of shoulder movement, just by moving him up. The arms are on a swivel as well. Um, there's a little bit of that there. He'll... You can move him up and down. That's pretty neat. Um, the legs, there's some articulation in the thigh joints. So I'm guessing it's on a ball joint. Oh, also, he can do the splits. Well, kind of. So that's uh, not too bad. And then uh, a little bit of motion in the knees. So, possibility he can be a little bit challenging to work with, unless you've got him standing in a position similar to this, with one knee slightly bent. Maybe both. And, once again, you've got these cog wheels. It's kind of white, but it's not bad. And then you've got a little wrench here. These were props that are found within the video game 
and not necessarily one that Bendy would use. So, now that that's it out of the way, I would say that for this being my first Bendy figure, I would give it a respectful 8 out of 10 points. So, I am going to set him off to the side here. And then we'll take a look at the Alice Angel figure. From the inside, it, um, the exact same kind of packaging, just a little bit different, and two significantly different props as well. Um, again, you see the back here is exactly the same. I'm surprised that they didn't show the more detailed version of Alice Angel after they had released that, but it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um, once again, that ink machine, it's pretty fascinating. Um, so, just like I said with Bendy, let's open her up. So this is pretty much what Alice Angel looks like. Almost very similar to what it is in the video game. It's pretty neat. Um, I would say that it is very very well designed very much like in the video game as compared to what it you see in the package so as mgo says let's just take it up to the noggin and show you just how creepy this can be a two-faced version of her i should also add at least that's the way i like to call her the two-faced female it's not bad um so, that's uh, very, very creepy, and j rightfully so. Huh. Um, so, I w for size comparison uh, with uh, Alice Angel, um, excuse me, I'm having a little trouble trying to snap to her up right now. Um, I would uh, put her side to side uh, with uh, Bendy. Um, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna, there we go, yeah, we'll try putting that there, and then we'll put our side to side uh, with Bendy, relatively the same, relatively the same height, with, but Alice Angel is a bit taller than the top of Bendy's head, it's, it's not bad, so, Let's just put Bendy off to the side. As for another comparison, we're going to put her side by side with the Funko Pop uh, Tracer figure. Um, that is pretty uh, significant. I would say a few centimeters taller, but I don't know. You know, in America, it's a little bit different to tell. So let's just put Tracer back up here. And now, we get to the fun part. Articulation and posability. Her head is, has a little bit of articulation, but not much. She can just bob her head up and down slightly. It's, it's not bad, I suppose. Um, her arms... It are once again on a swivel joint um, and at the shoulders there's not really much movement she has um, that's pretty much all the articulation in the shoulders in the elbows in the forearms she's got you know, some articulation there a swivel joint at the back which bends at about 90 degrees. It's not bad. Um, her legs, there's a little bit of movement right underneath her dress, but there's just a little bit of a bend there. Swivel joints. She can't exactly do the splits, if you will, with bendy. Um, and her legs, they go to... They bend at a 90 degree as well. 
or something closer to it. So, just try this real quick. Ah, there we go. It bent a little bit. So, it's kind of a double point. So, it's pretty interesting there. So, possibility wise, I'd say she is not too shabby, but only complaint I have with her is trying to get her to stand up without very much support. Um, I'm guessing this is very similar to Bendy. You have to stand her up in such a way that it's not too shabby and not too bad. So, um, oh, and she also does come with her own little props in the show. Um, she's got a microphone. Apparently, she... Apparently, it doesn't want to stand up, though. I'm guessing it may have been from packaging, but... I guess that's pretty common. I, I, I don't know. Um, and... Also, she has... This. It looks like a little tape recorder. But, in the video games, you'll find them all around. And they are helpful... And they're called audio logs in the game. So, just push the button and, in Wally Frank's uh, case, he'll uh, go... And almost every single time, he's going to finish up saying, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's pretty neat. So, respectfully, I would give Alice Angel the figure a 7 out of uh, 10. This new and improved uh, version it helps improve the rating. Um, oh, there we go. I managed to get her to stand up. So, posability wise, these two are okay, but they're not too bad. So, if I were to combine these two, um, I would say that together they would make a respectable <clears throat> 15 out of 20. Side by side, that's together. It's not bad. Not a bad get rating I give them. So, um, next up I'm going to see if I can find some more Bendy merch and see what comes up next. But until then... Beware the ink demon, and watch out for that messed up angel. Alright, so, with that in mind, this is SonicSpeed123606, signing off.